Hello students, welcome to Rosa's classes and in this video I will be solving some important questions uh, for SI and CMI. This is none as a paper I made. Okay, so the first question is let A denote be the area of the function made by the curve y equal to e to the power minus 6 then x axis and the straight line x equal to minus t, x equal to t. So then they have asked you a limit of a t. So this is a functional format based structure only. So fx equal to what we have a to the power minus mod x. So this one is an even function. Because of the modulus it doesn't matter if you just put a for minus x it will come to the same thing. So now a to of t is minus t to 0 and 0 to e to the power x 1 dy dx simple the double derivative so minus t to 0 this is e to the power x into dx so you can just put e to the power c e to the power minus t and that will tends to 2 as t tends to infinity so simply a of t is in this case or also we can directly do another process for this sum Okay, anyway, uh, the answer is A. The other process, let me use a different color for this. It's to directly 2 u to the power x dx 0 to 1. And then afterwards, you can put the value. And that will give you 2 as t tends to infinity. So in both ways, we get the answer very easily. So now we go to the next question. So, how many triplets of real numbers x, y, z are common solutions of the equation? So, here is a triplet based solution. So, x, y equal to z square. So, only x, y is z square plus 1, which is obviously greater than or equal to 1. So, that minus 4 x, y less than or equal to minus 4. So, hence here x minus y whole square, which is like x plus y whole square minus 4 x, y. So it is 4 minus 4xy less than equal to 4 minus 4 that is equal to 0. So simply we can say that x minus y whole square less than equal to 0. So x equal to y is a point over here. So that's the only solution to the system x equal to y if we take that is x equal to 1, y equal to 1 and z equal to 0. So the simplistic structure is there is a unique solution to this particular question. Okay. Now we go to question number three. These ones are very easy and short questions. So for non-negative integers, for non-negative integers, mean remember that non-negative doesn't mean positive. Non-negative means greater than or equal to 0 and positive means only greater than 0. The function satisfies the relation f of x comma 0 equal to 0 and f of x comma y plus 1 equal to f of x uh, y comma y. Then which of the following is the largest? Simply f of x comma 1 is f of f of x comma 0 0 that is nothing but f of x comma 0 and this one is x. So inductively we can say that f of x comma y is x for all integers where y is greater than or equal to 0. So here it doesn't matter in this case directly. So here the largest value is simply the largest functional format. So anyway f of x comma y is x. So First value is 10, second value is 12, third value this is 10, this value will be 12, this is 13, this is 14. So the maximum value will be this. Okay, so I will be doing some more in the next video. Stay tuned. Thank you.